So what are the benefits of getting with a managed server? Final web design, this is Steve. All right, everybody, how are we doing today? Steve Mingleco, Final Web Design, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about one of the most important aspects of after your website is building, and it is about the hosting, the server, the maintenance, kind of the all over picture of what are people doing with their websites after they are launched and what is the biggest issue that I've come across over the years where people are not able to uh, understand exactly how to maintain and update and upgrade their website or even how to manage their server or their hosting environment so that they're able to optimize the performance and keep their website working in the future as time go on as technology evolves as things like iphones and um, androids and new technologies ipads all these things that are evolving so i kind of want to go into the first thing and just kind of highlight that i want to talk about managed server hosting and maintenance and why i think that this is the most important service that we offer as a business and what most people don't understand once they have their, their website launched. So what are the benefits of getting with a managed server? Well, basically the benefits is that basically somebody is taking care of and handling all of your website, everything with the, the environment it sits on uh, going forward for you. And this has huge benefits for most businesses considering the price. Now, no, it's not a free service that you don't get to continue to build your website and maintain it forever. However, if you do get on this small like package, we can basically continue to work on it, update it, upgrade it. So the benefits are that basically, again, your site is able to evolve. Now things are going to happen over the years, new versions of WordPress or Joomla or whatever plugins or extensions you currently are using for your business. These things are gonna to continue to evolve. Uh, code changes, you know, ES6, JavaScript, things like that, that need to match with the browsers and the new technologies. So basically by opening up a, a managed hosting, you're able to continue to upgrade and update your website as the times continue to go on. So yes, your website should probably work fine for you know six months, a year, two years, three years, you never know, but eventually something's gonna come across your website, whether it's an outdated extension or third-party plugin, or just the, the core CMS itself, or whatever technology you're using, and it's going to exploit or take down and affect your website. Now here's the big issue with that is that once your website's down, nobody can access it. Google starts to not like it for SEO, things like that. So always updating and maintaining. Now this can be done very simply if you stick with it. The problem that happens is people wait three months and then they wait six months and then something happens and then they reach back and they're like, oh my gosh, uh, something's wrong with the site. It's not showing up properly. And all the time, I already know in my head what's going on. It's like nobody's been maintaining the site. So then you have to go in there after a given you know, period of time. And now these plugins have gone from maybe version one to version three, you've missed version two. And the whole update and upgrade process becomes a little bit more difficult to uh, maintain. And in some cases, if things get too old, if you're using really old technology, um, you basically have to start over. And there's not a whole lot of ways around that. That's just kind of the game. So what I always recommend with all of our clients is you always get on this managed server hosting because ultimately for the price, and I'll go over prices at the end, um, it's worth every dollar because the second you have a site that goes down, you can potentially lose customers, business, you know, all the things that go with it. And the longer it's down, then it can affect SEO and things like that. The other thing that the managed hosting involves that I think far too few people are taking advantage of is the fact that you basically are going to want to continue to secure the website. Now there are so many things these days that happen as far as bots, as far as um, scrapers and things that go through your website and will send links and spam and all sorts of different information. Um, you need to be maintaining this. Otherwise you can either bog down your server, you can bog down the, the traffic itself, the database. So there's a lot of different things that can potentially happen from a security standpoint if you're not continuing to manage the website. And what I could say about <coughs> what I could say about managing the website is that through managing the website, you're going to be able to continue to secure and make sure that the website is safe 
and that you're not being exploited to these hacks or these bots or these links or anything that could red list you or, or red hat you into a domain um, blacklist, which, which is ultimately the worst case scenario. I've seen it happen. I do know ways to resolve it, but it's a headache. So just having security, and that's something that managed hosting has. We have the site lock security. So basically it's a third party, runs through the website, checks all the files are correct, checks if there's any malware or information out there, and will then um, update it for you. Sorry. Security would be the next thing. But what are the long-term effects of managed hosting? Long-term effects are that you have a successful website that continues to work and works great for uh, you and your business. That continues to send forms correctly, that continues to send emails correctly, that continues to function on all the iPhones and Androids and different response and desktop. Um, so the benefits of the long-term of getting on a managed hosting is that your website is always, always optimized and working correctly even if it's 2026, well, granted things don't change too much, or if it's uh, maybe a two-year-old website. So things will stay modern as the times evolve. And this is incredibly important because far, far too many people think that they can just go launch their website. And unfortunately, when they go to launch their website, they realize very quickly that in a few months they're getting hacks and things like that, as we discussed. So the solution is to get on the managed hosting package. And I'm not trying to like sell this information. Like I want everybody to move to the, I mean, there's probably a handful of people who will even use the service that are watching this. It's more to get the information out there as far as why this is an important thing to have. And this is even if you go with a different company or you're building your own website, these are things that you need to know to continue to maintain and keep your website. Um, I'll just say one, <coughs> I'll just say one quick story. And that is that um, I have seen complete websites that I've worked on and I get to a point where all of a sudden something starts breaking, it goes down. It takes more time and effort to go back and try and restore and to fix what had ultimately broken than it is to almost take those assets and rebuild stuff. And you know, just don't get yourself in that position. It's something that's avoidable, but it has to be avoided from the beginning because if you don't do it beforehand, after the fact, it's too late. You're in trouble already. So the costs associated. So you can find these costs across a whole whole different range. I like to think we're pretty reasonably priced. Um, some companies I've heard that could even charge thousands of dollars a month, tens of thousands, uh, depending on the size of the website or application, to do these services for a business. Uh, you know, those are more corporate level where they have a whole team that kind of does it. Not that we don't have our team, but we have a team that manages multiple sites. So it's more of a, you're kind of in the conveyor belt so we can get our costs down a little bit less. But um, with that being said, I mean, our basic managed hosting plan is about $144 a month. Now that includes the server, that includes the site lock security, that includes the monthly updates and upgrades. And then we also, you know, we will usually, you know, make small changes to the website if the client needs it. Say they want to add some content, say they want to add some text, say they want to add some images. I mean, those type of things we'll usually do. If it's like adding a whole payment gateway or something, okay, we have to have a conversation, but um, small edits and touch up. So $144 a month, you're getting basically all those services. And if you even go to SiteLock right now, you will see that their base package is about $100 a month. So they're set enough already and that you're getting your server, your security and uh the big thing is the updates and upgrades which ultimately um are the biggest part of that package if you have uh e-commerce it does get a little bit more because there's thousands of products a database storage and stuff needs to be bigger for that you're looking about 244 or 240 dollars a month you know in that ballpark and then uh if you did need like a whole dedicated server you know you could reach out to us those are a little bit different costs but that that will give you an idea of what we could do for you so really if you think about it for the price of 144 dollars a month to have a whole team you can't even get somebody in house for that for a day you can basically have a whole team that's sitting there keeping your website up to par and that could ultimately save you if not hundreds, thousands of dollars, if you miss a lead, if you lose your SEO, if you just continue to not have your website perform in its optimal stage and functionality so that the users can engage with the site correctly. So with that being said, guys, today I wanted to kind of just review the whole managed server hosting updates, upgrades, why this is so important, why I don't think people are uh, 
as familiar with it and why I'm trying to get the information out there as important as it is because ultimately we succeed when you guys succeed so if your business is doing good if your website's doing good if you're getting leads if you're getting traffic if you're getting sales if you're making money we're doing the same so it's a win-win solution i like to get this information out there if you have any questions about your website server if you have any questions about your website's hosting we would love to help you out we would love to take a look it's not going to cost you anything unless you did move to our plan uh, but we would love to help you guys with that. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you checking out this new video. A like, a subscribe, that stuff helps. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.